Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick instructional video and the primary purpose of this video is going to be simply walking you through setting up your AirPods Pro using the Mimi hearing uh, test and then going through the audiogram settings inside of the health app and then going into accessibility and setting up your AirPods. This has been one of the biggest questions in all of the comments that I've gotten in my first video is how do I set them up? I've, I've gone out, I've purchased a pair, what's my next step? What do I need to do? So just a couple of prerequisites here. Um, number one, you have to have iOS 14. Uh, you have to have an iPhone that supports iOS 14 to be able to do this. Uh, it's not currently supported by Android, um, although if you do have an iPhone or your friend has an iPhone, uh, you can set it up and I will retain the settings in your AirPods and you can continue using them um, and connect them to other devices. But you will need an iPhone with iOS 14 to set it up. Uh, it won't work with iPad OS 14 because iPad OS 14 misses the critical feature um, of having the health app with audiogram support. So as you see here, we're in settings. Um, I'm going to go back to Mimi, which I have open here. And uh, as you see here, I've already done my hearing test, 49% uh, in the left ear, 51% in the right, and it uh, shows I have a moderate hearing loss. And uh, so that's that. So the test results, you can look at it here. Uh, you can see the tests that I've taken. Uh, they're all pretty close. Uh, you can see my audiogram there. Uh, yours probably looks similar to this. If you have a standard hearing loss, you'll see that dip in the middle and maybe an increase at the end, maybe not. Uh, but this is a pretty normal hearing loss. Um, and so there you go. So that is Mimi. Once Mimi is configured and you've gone through the hearing test, which when you initial, initially come into here, um, you'll walk through the hearing test and get the test results and all that. Few things about this. Number one, if you do the hearing test, I personally recommend and got the best results with uh, the silicone tips with noise canceling turned on. And of course you need a quiet environment. So I got the best result with noise cancellation on. So now that the hearing test is done, we're gonna go over to the health app. I'll just show you in here in the health app, I go to browse um, and you go down to hearing. And so there you have uh, your hearing test and just to verify, you're actually showing your audiogram there. Mimi will prompt you when you install it if you want to integrate with health with the health app, you wanna select yes. So once this is in there, you verified your audiogram is in the health app, you can now go to settings. So we're gonna hop into settings and what you're gonna do uh, is you're gonna scroll down to accessibility. This is one way to get to it. Accessibility, AirPods, and then down at the bottom here, audio accessibility settings. Now, at the very top there, you'll see headphone accommodations is on that may be off for you. If you've just configured, you may need to go in here, turn on the headphone accommodations. It will look like that for you. Click on on. The first step once you get in here is you wanna to go to custom audio setup. You'll see mine is already selected uh, with audiogram. So you'll wanna go through the custom audio setup. First step first is you'll want to put your AirPods in. And you may actually hear a change in my voice because it's probably gonna to switch to my AirPod microphone. Okay, so now they're in. So I'm going to go through custom audio setup and it's going to ask me some questions. So I'm going to continue and it's going to ask me, would you like to use your latest audiogram? And here it's asking me to select between what I'm hearing with my audiogram settings versus the standard settings. And we're going to choose use audiogram. And then right away you get the option to adjust your amplification. This is a setting that you'll be able to change later, uh, but this is amplification specifically for custom transparency. So what this is, is the boost that you're boosting based on your audiogram. So this is different than the volume for say music and media. Um, when you hit your volume on the side, that's this is different. You'll see that that slider doesn't change. This is strictly the boost of the sound coming into the microphones in your AirPod and what's boosting the sound going into your ear. So if I crank this all the way up, it's boosting only the sounds that my audiogram specifies that are on the lower range, on the loss side. So 
uh, if I turn that to its standard setting right there, that's going to be a comfortable level for most people. But if you're used to wearing hearing aids, you're probably going to crank that thing all the way up. Um, and just as a note, based on testing, uh, it seems that the AirPods are naturally darker in their tones because a lot of people are sensitive to higher pitch noises. So you may actually come down here and adjust that brighter and it may sound more natural to you if you're used to wearing hearing aids um, or not. If you've not worn hearing aids, it'll actually sound probably more natural to be around middle or maybe just a little bit darker. Um, and you can always come back in here and adjust it and make it brighter as you get used to them and accustom to them. So we're going to take that back to about right there is where I'm comfortable, where I like it personally. All right, so we're going to click done. So you'll see down at the bottom now we have transparency mode. So apply with phone media transparency mode. So what that means is in phone and media, so your phone calls coming through the AirPods, media coming through the AirPods will be adjusted to your audiogram. So music will sound great. Phone calls will sound fantastic. And if you click on transparency mode, it brings back amplification settings. All right, so that is the audiogram settings. I wanted to hit one final thing, and this is confusing for some folks that, especially if you don't have an iPhone, you only have an iPad, and you still want to boost your custom transparency, you can. You don't have the option to use your audiogram on an iPad OS. You can still come in here and say, I want to boost brightness. So this is like generic bright tones. So you'll see here that you have now a slider that says slight, moderate, or strong, and you have custom transparency at the bottom. There's a key difference between these two things. Slight, moderate, and strong is, is talking about ap applying the sound, applying the boost, or adjusting the tones of everything, phone, media, transparency mode. So if you go in here and select moderate, uh, it sounds a little bit more like my audiogram settings, but I go in and select strong, that's very close to what my audiogram actually is. Now, what this does is it's a normal bright boost. It's what you get from a lot of uh, over-the-counter hearing amplifiers. It's just a, a standard bright boost. You can also boost vocal range. This may be good if you're in conversations. Um, and again, this is if you don't have the option of using your audiogram. Audiogram is always going to be superior. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we're going to keep this on vocal range. What you'll notice here is now that if you turn this up to strong, uh, you go into transparency mode and you can still adjust your custom transparency. So you can boost that all the way up. And that is super loud right now. So I'm going to take that back down. What I've heard from people, they've gone in and they've clicked on vocal range and it defaults to slight. And then they go into custom transparency and try to crank up the volume. And they're like, it doesn't give me enough boost. I still can't hear. The reason that's happening is because um, you're still on the slight here. So you need to come into here and switch that to moderate or strong, and you'll notice a vast difference in how it sounds. So uh, I'm going to switch that back to my audiogram. All right, and as you see, that slider goes away because your audiogram doesn't need a secondary slider. It knows what your loss is, and it can adjust based on that. Um, and really, the only other thing is, is just to constantly be in here and you know tweak this until this is comfortable. Um, this, just to keep in mind, it is not going to be the level of boost that you're going to need if you have above moderate hearing loss. So especially if, you've, if you're used to wearing hearing aids, but what my experience, based on my experience with hearing aids, this is as good, if not better, than the last three pairs of hearing aids that I trialed. And uh, the audiogram is almost dead on the audiogram I got professionally from my audiologist. So I'm pretty impressed with that. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. Uh, remember to hit the subscribe button. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any additional questions. I'm going to be doing some uh, additional videos in the near future um, on some reviews between the AirPods Pro and the actual hearing aids. If you're interested in hearing more about that, uh, hit that subscribe button, and I'll talk to you then. Thanks.